Thank you. Okay, so a simple formulism, and, and, and this is how it was originally developed. You have a question, and for each question you will end up having a lot of criteria, and, and in many cases, by the way, the criteria are just criteria for the client and for the business, and for being legally okay, right? Uh, but, but for each question, you might have several options, and, and so in this diagram, I just draw three, three options, uh, and, and for each option, now, first of all, you have to find all the options, again, by going around the table with all the expertise that you can, have, can, can get together, uh, and what we can do now is for each option find out how is this option in relation to criteria 1. Well, I, I draw a, a solid line meaning this is fine. How for criteria C? That, uh, C2 doesn't matter. C3 doesn't matter. C4 doesn't matter. Option 1 for C5 is not good. And I got a dotted line here. And, and, and for option 7, or option 6, uh, sorry, sorry, for criteria 6, six option 1 again is good. And, and this way I can describe for all options how they relate to the criteria. Yeah? And this is as far as the formalism goes for me. Um, and I know there are people who are using this technique and they are now counting. And, uh, and, and then they say, well, the calculation shows me that option two is the best. And to be honest, I don't care. Somebody mm -hmm. is going to make the decision on the answer for question Q, Q1. And this person will decide, okay, thank you, I now see what are all the different possibilities that the design team can come up with, and I can see all the criteria that you are looking at, and, and I cannot find any other criteria. Given all this, I choose option three. Right. So the decision in the end is made by the person or the institute that feels responsible. Uh, and in most cases, this is not somebody who is clever in calculating and adding zeros and ones, right? So I think, stop here. But I'm telling you, in literature, some people make very complicated formulas. They, they are even going to weigh the criteria, say criteria 7 is more important, or is three times as important as criteria 4. And then they do some very magic calculations, and they end up with it. If an option they say, mm, I would never have chosen this, but the calculations tells me this is the best. I don't believe that. So I'm, I'm giving you up now my, my subjective way to, do, to handle this, and, and I'm telling you other people do it differently. Right? And it's up to you. I will not punish anybody if they change another way, but I've never seen a design where everybody feels happy afterwards based on clever calculations and, and fiddling around with the weights of, of, the, of the different criteria. I, I don't believe that. Okay? But you might if you want. But, so, um, you will have conflicting options and you will have conflicting criteria. And, and this means that you need many disciplines. So you need the disciplines of ergonomics and psychology and anthropology. The disciplines that focus on does it fit human beings, or does it fit the human culture, or does it fit people in a group, right? These are the disciplines I sketched here. Uh, but, but, but there's also expertise and creativity in the domain of engineering, people who can build things, who can build software, who can build hardware, um, actually who can build uh, uh, social structures, right? So, and, and these are these a completely different set of disciplines all these engineering disciplines, and, and, and they are the builders, so they can, they can make things. And, and then there's people who make things look in a certain way, like graphic design, or cinematography, or typography. Typography is a science about how people can make, can be made to read easily, right? By, by what type of characters, what, what, what size of characters, what color of characters, how many characters on, in a line, stuff like that, outlining. And the same is for cinematography, who is, this is a science that, 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 that allows you to manipulate attention to where should people look if something happens, if there's an event on a screen, where would people expect the result and so on, uh, and, and graphic design the same thing. So this is a completely different set of disciplines again, and you need them in design, most of the time, uh, and they will come up with different options and they will come up with different disciplines and they might not in any way agree with the psychologists or with the engineers. Right? 
Uh, and then there's the users and stakeholders. They also will have their ideas about what are acceptable options and what are acceptable criteria. And, and the criteria for the user might just be it should be cool. Okay? And if they think your solution is not cool, well, your customer will have a problem. And then there's management and marketing. So this is the, the, the business part of, of the company you are working with, right? And they say, I would like to sell this, or I'm not going to sell this, or this cannot be sold, right? So, so these are all different disciplines, and each of them has different view on options and has different criteria to contribute. So there's not any reason for unanimity, which means that voting might not make any sense. I think it doesn't make sense to vote on options or to vote on criteria. And after all, it's just the owner of the question that will take the answer. Right? So be aware and don't think you fail if you don't agree. If you don't agree, you uh, might, might have shown that you have really a multidisciplinary team with people who have completely different visions on what's a good option and, and what's a relevant criteria. Okay? And this is part of design. Okay, so multidisciplinary expertise and creativity is needed. And, and this requires, by the way, that everybody participates from the point of view of their expertise. If I am a visual or a graphical designer, my expertise is how people look and how I can make people understand and people be able to read and people put attention somewhere. This is my expertise. And then there's the psychologist who knows about how people reason and what people can understand. And this is a different discipline. I don't understand these people too completely, but, but I should be professional and I should consequently accept the professionality of other disciplines. Uh, so, we should ensure that everybody can come up with their options and come up with their criteria independent of these other people who are from a different school, speak a different language. Uh, consequently, you might well, consider that people would write down things on post-its first. Each of you write down your options. And after you finish, you put them on the wall and you can look at the options of the other. And the same for criteria, if you want. It's a question mark here. This is a possibility, right? And I've seen other people doing turns around the table where we say, I, I go around the table, each of you can list me one criteria, one option. Which means you can just come up with a criteria which is the opposite of the previous one or which builds on it. But you can go one and we go around and then we go around again. And, and we go around as long as everyone, at least one person still has another option or another criteria, right? So the, the second one means react uh, if you want on what other people, other disciplines bring and the first one is each of you come up with fresh ideas without knowing what the other does both is possible, it's up to you right? make a choice but do some kind of systematic thing uh, and you have to accept right? you have to accept if somebody comes up with an option that you can consider completely funny but in the discipline this other person this could be making a lot of sense and could be just very innovative, right? So again, no reason for unanimity. Okay? Don't think the team fails if you don't agree. And if an option that somebody thinks is fantastic and the other thing is the same. And the same for criteria. Right? Allow it and be professional. So, so each person is supposed to participate from their own expertise. And then you get people from a completely different discipline with things you never thought about. And they might seem stupid, but apparently they are not stupid in that profession, right? So, accept. And, well, once you have everything on the table, this doesn't mean you are done. So, uh, you have to go to detail the solution later on. This week we will not go into any detail design, but in reality, after you came up with the task model 2, you are going to model the details, the keystrokes, the, the pixels on the screen maybe, and, and this, this means you might have to come back to your decisions. So you need this formalism. Even if people don't, don't agree at all, you need a formalism to be able to come back to. 